So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this fake 3D house animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's begin. As always, let's drag in our Fusion composition and head over to the Fusion page. Now over here, I'm going to add this background and connect it with the media out. And also let's add our merge one, two and three. So what we need to do is we need to create the shape ourselves. So we can use this polygon tool in order to do that. And let's also drag in a background for this. Connect the polygon with the background and let's change the color to red. And if you right click over here, you will be able to get the option for show guides. And we can use these guides in order to create our shape of the house. So the first one is just make sure you have your polygon one selected and you can use these guides over here. So let's go ahead and create something like this. And let's close this right here. And then right here. And of course, you can move these points as well. And let's also do this right here. And let's close this. So here we have the first shape of the, the front view of the house. So let's connect the background with the merge one. And here is how it looks. So here you can see. And make sure you select your polygon and you have this in the center right here. So this is, this looks okay now. And now for the second shape, we'll do the same thing. Drag in your polygon and then also the background. And this time we're going to go with a blue, blue color and let's connect it with the merge tool. So right here where we left off, and you can see that this is not on the line over here. So you can just slightly move this up. Now let's go ahead and start creating our next shape, which will basically be the roof of the house. So let's do this the same way that we did before. Just use these guides and create this shape. So here you can see we have the roof as well, but this time make sure you have this polygon tool selected and then select this point right here and then slightly move this in. So this actually looks like a house, uh, actually looks like a roof. And now we're going to do the same thing for this side of the house as well. So drag in another polygon and the background. And this time let's go with the darker red and connect all of these. And then once again, we're going to use these guides in order to create our shape. All right, so here we have the basic layout of the house and then we can also rename this. So let's call this one front side. Let's call this one the roof and this one as the uh, back side, I would say. And now let's go ahead and add in a door. So this is very simple. Let's go ahead and add two more merge nodes, actually four more merge nodes. So like this, make sure that you have it in this order uh, so that this looks clean. And now let's go ahead and add our rectangle one and then a background. Now for the background color, I'm just going to go with something dark, but not totally black. So let's connect this and here you can see this is how it looks. So reduce the width and the height for this and then just move this right here. And the width let's go with 0 0.08 and with the height let's go with 0 .0, 0 0.25. And let's move this right here and make sure that this is on the line like this all right and now let's go ahead and add our window and let me just slightly move this right here so that this is in the center as well and for the window just add this ellipse tool once again the background and we're going to copy the color and paste it right here and connect it with the merge and let's reduce the size for this 
So change the width to 0 0.1, height to 0 0.1 as well. And let's move this right here. Uh, let's go with 0 0.08. This looks fine. And now let's add our windows as well. So for this one, once again, we're going to add background and a rectangle connected with the background. And then let's copy the same color over here as well and add in this one, this merge. Let's go with this height, uh, width at 0 0.1 and height at 0 0.2. So let's add this right here. And what you can do is add another rectangle, copy the settings from here and then paste settings here. Connect them and then slightly move this right here. So you will get your windows like this. So here we have our layout, basic layout of the house done. Now we need to start animating this. So the animation is quite simple. What you need to do is, first of all, let's go ahead and create a keyframe at, at 30 where we want this animation to stop. So let's go over to this front side, create a keyframe right here. So you will see that we already had a keyframe at zero for all of these. And for most of these, for the polygon, basically, and now we have one at 30 as well. So what you can do is, let's just slightly move this down. Okay. And now what you can do is at 30, where we had our keyframe, we can just move this right here and make sure you have shift selected on your keyboard. And let's do the same thing right here. All right. And... Let's also move this right here. And now for the roof, we had a keyframe at zero and then at 30, let's create a keyframe over here. And let's move the this point, this point right here. And this point right here. All right, and let's also move this right here like this and slightly move this one right here. And now for the back side, let's do the same thing, keyframe at 30. All right, and select your points, move them. Make sure you select the shift All right, and this looks fine. And then let's also change this for the back side as well. All right. And now for the windows, this will be very simple. Just go ahead, select your background, and then add this transform node. And let's create a keyframe at zero at center. And then at 30, let's move this, move the x-axis right here. All right, and now if we play this, here you will see we have our animation, but we need to also change the animation for the door as well. So at zero, let's create a keyframe at width. And then at 30, let's reduce this to 0 0.0. .0 five so let's see yes this looks fine and then let's do the same thing for the ellipse as well so at zero create keyframe add width and height and then at 30 let's go ahead and change this to 0 0.05 for both of these like this so if you play this now this is how it looks but for the door and the window over here we also need to create keyframe for center so this is the door that we have let me just also rename this and this is the front window so for the door we have a keyframe over here at zero and then at 30 we also need to create another keyframe at center and this time let's slightly move this right here so that this remains in the center and we need to do the same thing for this front window as well. 
So let's create a keyframe at center and then at 30. Let's move this right here. And this time, I'm also going to change the width a little bit. So at 0 0.3, let's say. Let's see how this looks. All right, and the window is quite small now. So let's go with 0 0.04. Let's see. So this looks much better. All right, it seems like the house is moving. And for the final touches, let's just also, first of all, let's change our background. So I'm just going to go with the white color. And right here where we have our background, let's add another merge. And over here, let's add another background and also an ellipse. Connect both of these and let's change the color to something like an aqua color something like that and let's go ahead and increase the width for this and then also move this right here and now at 30 let's create a keyframe at center for this and then at zero let's move this right here so i'm just moving the x-axis so here you can see this adds that dynamic animation and let's just not do it too much. Let's just keep this right here. So it seems like we are moving our house or you, you can say our camera is moving and it's giving us that 3D shape. Now here you will see we have some space between our different shapes. So what you can do is kind of correct them if you go over here, you can simply just move them. Make sure all of these are correct. And let's... All right, and this looks perfect. And for the final thing, go over to Spline and make sure that you select all the keyframes that we have, all the keyframes that we created, and use this so that you can see all those keyframes. Select all those keyframes and then hit S on the keyboard. And now if we play this, here you will see a slight, yeah, slight opening, which is because we did not enable the roof. So let me just undo this and also enable the roof. Make sure everything is enabled and then hit S on the keyboard once you have the keyframe selected. And now this will look perfect. So let's go back to the main timeline. And over here, if you play this, here you can see this is how our animation looks. So I hope you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.